How's it going everybody? Welcome to Waterside Workshop. I'm Carl. I hope everyone's doing well. If you're new here and you haven't seen this before, this is a video I put out on a Sunday and that sort of shows what I've been doing all week on the workshop side of things. I don't cover too much of the fishing or any of my tools and stuff like that out in this sort of, in these videos. I do show a little bit where I pop for lunch and stuff like that during the week. But mainly that's about the stuff in the workshop. So that'll be cars, trailers, boats, boat engines, that sort of thing. You know, whatever I'm doing in the workshop that week. Sometimes I'm off doing MOTs and other times I'm off that end of the country to pick a car up and then I'll go right down the other end of the country to pick a boat up etc etc it could be all sorts of things you never know what's going to happen each week <laughs> normally a bit different each time you definitely see lots of different things hence why I started to do it so let's get on with this week and welcome in everybody so you join me on a, a wander just been out to have a look at a little car, but not really what I was after. It wasn't really as described, so we left that one. It wasn't too far away, so it was worth a little look. I'm now on my way back to the garage with a little stop off at Horning on the way, just to see what's happening on the way through. And then I'm going to be fitting a custom thermostat to a Rover 75 Connoisseur facelift estate 2 litre turbo diesel so that will be my first job this week on the videos Just coming into Horn now. Only going to pass through and have a quick look. Just want to see the conditions, uh, what the river's like at the moment, how rough it is, or how calm it is. <laughs> Thinking about having a fishing trip soon. I just wanted to get an idea. I thought I'd just switch on, let you have a little look. It's a nice area. So we've got a wind coming this way down the river. The tide's pretty high, it's going over the edge into the, the beer garden and stuff there. Got a few people fishing down this end by Elizabeth. Three people by Elizabeth. Oh, it's starting to rain on me. That's no good. Yeah, the water's very high. Looks quite nice there. the area when I'm when I'm passing you know from out the way I'll, I'll always go to the water and have a little look just see what's happening this is the main little town bit not much to it really it's just a little one street There's plenty going on there pubs restaurants sweet shops all that sort of stuff right let's get on back to the garage and do some more work. What you haven't seen off camera is I've already been in for uh, four and a half hours this morning. I was um, putting the old Volvo all back together. Back 
at the industrial estate. I've just got to undo both of the locks on the gate and we'll go through. we're going to do a MG ZT or Rover 75 turbo diesel modified thermostat one of these here and what we're going to do is we're going to put one of these in line this will save you absolutely loads of money these are about 16 pounds and you get clamps and stuff to go with them etc etc instead of dropping the engine on that side bring it right up taking all sorts of stuff apart on the mounts and then taking that out and lots of other stuff to change the original one this is what 99.9% .9 of the people do that own these cars and that's definitely well worth doing and like I say that will save you literally hundreds of pounds so let's get around the front here we're in a Rover 75 Connoisseur Estate facelift. It's a two litre diesel, I was saying. Let's go around the front there and let's start taking that apart. It shouldn't be too bad. And I'll talk you through it as we go along and hopefully you can do the same if you need to do it on your car. And save yourself a bit of money. Right, let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna sort of fast forward going through this because I've put out a dedicated video showing the whole process from start to finish because I think a lot of people need to know how to do this you can also save them a lot of money so if you want to see that there'll be a dedicated video already on the channel
go, that's pretty much where your gauge should sit, just under the halfway mark. And your heaters, if you put your hand over your heaters now when they're downward done, down towards your feet, that should burn your hand, that should be red hot. Mine's absolutely boiling. I couldn't even hardly hold my hand there, so I sorted that out, that's done the job, and hopefully that's helped a load of you out as well. And that's another fix done. Darby Jobby. So I took it out for a test drive and bumped into this car, so I thought I'd let you have a look. look. about come across this nova and this mark one golf both these cars i think need saving maybe a rebuild sorting out morning guys how you doing Whew, another day so at the moment i'm taking the lights at the back of the Peugeot because they're sold sorting out front bumper i've got engine to Clean up and put on a pallet and going from there really. Still got the Volvo indoors, still waiting for the mountain. Just grabbing some tools to get this off, hang on. Whew. Oh, by the way, the 75 is running quite nice with the new tuning chips and mods. Oh, right. Not too much stuff in the way. In trouble when you fill them up. Just got to get back in them sometimes. It's a lovely day, we've got blue skies, 
two fluffy clouds and the sun's out. That's behind the, the big mill at the moment. Here we go, it's coming out. Not too bad a job on these. There's one in lovely condition. Actually, they need to go in the back of the 75, which I've locked. <laughs> I have to go and grab a key in a minute. Then we need the one at the other side as well. This one's got all carpet and stuff in the way, so got to remove these clips. too bad then, not too bad. Sometimes they can be a pain to be like wilded on and seized on, but these two will come out quite nicely. A good day like this, I might have to have a sort of move about and get out with the old steam washer and see if that's working with all the new parts on it. That'd be nice. Just looking at the old poor old lorry here, that's gone all green on the back of the bed. Very good, we don't want that, do we? To give that a blast at some point as well. Two lights, I'll probably just give them a quick clean up before they go. Get them wrapped up with some bubble wrap and cardboard, and that'll sort them out. All right, that's that bit done. What do we do next? All right, so I'm going to get these parts in the for a minute. Some paint and stuff that came with the car. Here's got a good clean up on their way. That's their package and sword. I think we'll just move this back. to focus and give yourself a bit of room. I haven't started to focus for a while now, so hopefully she's not flat or anything. She unlocked. Lovely jubbly. Brakes are a bit sticky. Nothing to worry about. That should, should give us enough room to do what we've got to do. I'll grab a pallet and we'll go from there. Let's find ourselves a nice pallet to whack the engine on. I can see one over here. A lot of these just get thrown away, so it's quite handy to be able to just grab one. This one's not too heavy either, which is nice. Probably a bit oversized, but they want you to put them on a whole pallet. the next job of getting the engine from the frame out here and onto there. That's pretty heavy but we'll, we'll find a way, a little trolley or something like that, a piece of wood. So what I'm going to do, I've got this trolley, I'm going to move all the parts onto it. Makes things a lot easier to move around because they're all going out for a good clean. Just 
especially things like big old gearboxes and stuff like this. Just makes the job a bit easier. And we'll move this exhaust, get rid of that. We can empty the frame, slide it in under there, put the engine under the frame, take it outside. That's the plan. Whew. So, let's trolley this through. See, I don't need to go to the gym. Stay. Ooh. All right, get the engine up under there. So what I'm doing right now is just blocking up the inlets. So when we steam clean this, we don't fill the whole engine full of water because we don't want to be doing that. Whack this underneath, and hopefully, she should come down quite nicely. Shouldn't be no oil in it at all. Nice and jubbly. You can tell I've done this before, can't you? Release all the lifting cables, keeping the bolts all together. Obviously got to use them again at some point. Starting to get air breath lifting around gearboxes and drive shafts and stuff. Right. We are rolling, lovely. It's not being funny, I probably could. To a point lift it, but I'm not that young anymore. I used to pick these up and just walk around. Them. Especially the old MG Rover ones now, you should literally just pick them up. Walk out the door and put them in people's boots and stuff. We'll clean them up. Whew. But yeah, I try to be careful these days, look after me back. Let's get it outside, shall we? Still weigh a, a ton. As you can see, and the wheels get caught up in the door runners, but she's out here. I'm gonna keep it on the trolley for now. I think we'll clean it on the trolley and then we'll transfer it afterwards. Alright, so I'm gonna get the steam machine and everything out, set it all up. And I'll bring you back once we start to give us a blast. So I got the old jet washing that all set up, the steam cleaner, and realised that there's no diesel in it. So I'm just going to have to whip down the road, pick ourselves up some diesel. It's not far, which is quite handy. Lovely day. Look at this sun. Seems we had rain and gale force winds for a whole week. Today is lovely. I should be out on my boat. <laughs> but work's work. Gotta be done up. Whew. So let's go get some diesel. 
Well, as I say, as you can see out here, it's, it's a lovely day. A little bit cloudy, but mainly blue skies, and the sun's lovely and warm. So we're just whipping down the road into the village. There's an old Ford garage. There aren't many of them about now. We're gonna fill the big old can up with diesel, and then we can fill up the steam cleaner. Fingers crossed that's gonna work how it should put all the new hose and stuff on and took the gun apart and put all the attachments and stuff together and that's all back together so there's no reason why it shouldn't work let's hope it don't leak any water or anything like that and we can steam our parts over the last couple of days I've been giving them a good coat of degreaser probably every three or four hours so it should have soaked in quite nicely Give them a good brush with a paintbrush. So hopefully that shit will blast off quite nicely. I think I'll put my old boots on so I don't get soaked. And yeah, should all be good. So we're there already, just around this corner. I'll keep you rolling as we go in and then I'll turn you off. You can just see the old Ford garage. It's quite cool to see. Not many little main dealers left like this now. Still a working garage as well. That's one of them ones where you can't even put your own fuel in, you have to ask. <laughs> okay, cans all filled up. Stood there for about 10 minutes or so because chap was admiring the rover saying how rare they are now and what good condition that's in <laughs> he's right that is actually in really good condition for its age it's got no rust on the back arches or longer seals and stuff like that like normally most rovers have that's pretty good so, yeah that's quite often now I'm starting to get compliments about it and I don't even give it a full detail and a good clean up I've just been using it for work but maybe I shouldn't be. <laughs> maybe I'm treating it a bit bad. Let me know in the comments below what you think I should do. Do you think I should give it the full detail, give it a good old clean up, full bill of health, and put up for sale for someone to sort of take the shows and cherish? Or should I use it for what I bought it for and whack a trailer on the back and put stuff in the boot and tow stuff around with it, etc., and use it for work? Is it too good? Right, so we'll be back at this garage any second. And let's get this steam wash up and running, hopefully. Back at the industrial. That is a good thing, it's literally 10 minutes down the road. We're back. God, that sun's absolutely blind to me. I might have to put the old sunglasses on the way it's going. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. So steam cleaner's all up and running and put together. Just got to whack some diesel on it. It's a bit dirty. Probably need to pull it out and give it a good wipe over. This should get the old motor firing up. Should be enough, hopefully. Oh, no, hopefully, it's, if that's not, then it's not very good. It's 15 quid in there. <laughs> 200 degrees. Now we just got to try and get some steam out of it. You have to adjust the machine around a bit and sort of play with it to get it to steam, but it does do it. Okay, let's see if we can do a bit of steaming. Oh, 
Ahora es hot. <laughs> 200 degrees. Went through dirt like any cleaner you'd ever think of. As you can see, it's literally just tearing it apart. Look, there's nothing there. Yeah, it's a messy job. Right, when the customer get their part, they're always happy. Doing a lovely job. Hot. <laughs> we'll give the gearbox its first blast while well, we're doing it. Well, we've got everything, no, we've got to plug it up first. Don't want to put a load of water on the gearbox, I mean, they can drain it out afterwards, but we'd rather just plug it up both sides and now uh, it's been done. All you gotta do is get yourself a decent bit of cloth, pump it in there like that, nice and tight, both sides. Oh, it's windy out here, but otherwise it's pretty good. Engine looking spanking. I'll bring it over. Let you have a look in a minute. Apart from one little bit, I can see. Didn't get much better than that. So it is a messy job. And this machine cost an absolute fortune, but I think it was about 12 grand new. It's a few years old now, but it still does its job.
heat's not coming on for some reason. What's going on, machine? Sometimes you have to adjust it here and there to get the heat to come on, so I turn it down on steam. for this minute. Right, let me show you this engine. See what you think. So that's what you pretty much get. Nice, clean, degreased, natural looking engine. Doesn't look like it's been over cleaned, which you don't want. I'm going to get in the back here a little bit and just do a little bit more there. Otherwise, she's ready to go. Pretty good. Right, I'll do a bit more off camera. And I'll bring you back in a bit. So you catch me giving the old trailer a good old blast down. Just degreening it. It's got a bit of green in that on it where it's been sitting around for a little bit. It's looking good at the moment. I'm just going to do this side of the car as well. This steam is really good for getting all the brake dust off and getting all the grime from around the black pits around the windows and stuff. Not bad, not bad. Not giving it a full clean, just the tower behind loads all dirt and all that all over it. So just trying to give it a bit of a tidy up. The trailer obviously keeps as clean as I can. It's normally not sitting there, it's normally indoors right at the back there, but I've been using it a lot lately. Right. Okay, so front bumper's next. Just brought it out, took the number plate off. Gonna give it a flick over, nothing too crazy. Pretty good, it should do that. Let that dry for a bit in the sun, hopefully. If not, I'll have to grab an airline and blow it down. Same with the engine. So much for not getting wet, putting the old boots on. <laughs> wet right to there, all the way down the leg. Lovely. Right, let's get this bumper in the back of the 75. We'll just put the seats and stuff down. Will it come underneath the carrier cover? Yep, goes in there quite nicely. Let's see anything else has got to go in there today, so as I know. Ooh. What I do is I give these to Joe, and then she 
gives them the final wipe over and wrap them up. And then she takes them off to wherever they've got to go, different places to be posted. Okay, so we're back in the car again. I'm going off to meet Joe. I'm gonna post what's sold over the weekend, stuff like that. And then I've still got to give her the stuff that's in the bag here. That will get wrapped up and sorted out and either go this afternoon or tomorrow morning. Still can't get over this weather. It's so nice to have a little bit of warmth. <laughs> We've got 11 degrees. I feel like the middle of summer compared to the cold weather we've had. It was only, what, a little while ago and we had minus five, minus six. Temperatures are just up and down and all over the place. And we get lovely blue skies like this and nice warm day. And then the next day, 60 mile an hour winds and freezing cold. It's just strange out there at the moment. Whew, right then. So, I'll get on with this part of the journey. Anything interesting while I'm out and about? I'll obviously give you a look like I normally do. Strange out the hot weather and everyone comes out. Normally when I drive through here you see one person if you're lucky. <laughs> it's packed today. Would definitely be a nice down the broads today, but can't do it today. I've got so much stuff to do. So, I've been really busy. As you can see, all the posters gone out the back. And I've just whipped up to North Walsham, which is, I don't know, 45 minutes away or so. Grabbed a set of the old straps to strap the engine down. So, that's that one out of the way. While I was there, I got some um, the old cleaning things that you put on the end of tools, like a drill or something like that, or air drill or something like that. You can like scrub seats and stuff with, just come in handy. Oh, I keep losing all my Allen keys that are on socket, so grabbed a new set of them. Not too bad for 20 quid. And then we got ourselves a big old roll of black shrink wrap. Obviously we need that to wrap the engine up. In case that sits in anywhere where it's going to get wet or rained on or anything like that. So I sorted that out, so I've been really busy. And as you can see it's starting to get dark. So whew, I'm now heading back to the unit now. Going to get it all strapped up. Alright, I'm going to shrink wrap it first, obviously. <laughs> get it all strapped up and move it for the night. Bring it back in. And then tomorrow I'll be on its way and off to its new owner. So that's the plan. Got some other stuff indoors of what I'll do after that as well. So I'll see you in the unit in a little while. So everybody, I've obviously wrapped up all the engine. Strapped it all down. That ain't going nowhere. The whole pallet moving instead of the actual engine. You have to leave the dipstick showing on these because they have to check and make sure there's no oil in before they take them. But that's where we are. All these parts down here are lovely and clean. And they'll be ready for photos tomorrow. So it's getting pretty late as you can see. Quite dark. Moon's out. <laughs> so I'm probably going to stop here tonight and then go home have some dinner get washed up and then i've got a waterside workshop out tonight i always like to go on there and chat all us live how's it going guys another day still plenty of deep flooding as you can see i can only just get through here now it's getting pretty deep understand why they've dug out one side to a point they could get if they kept going along they'd get rid of all that but they just stopped 
Let's all pump it back on the road. <laughs> so, I'm heading over to the unit. Go put the stickers and stuff on the engine. It's being picked up by the lorry today. I've got some stuff to list, take photographs and stuff like that of. And then I've got some plans indoors. So I'll see you over the unit. Side now being picked up off down the road in that lorry. And what I've been doing is clearing up all the rubbish and that from the new parts, sorting out a load of tools and stuff like that. I've gone through this Volvo, give it a really good hoover out and stuff. That seat's absolutely had it, so that's got to go. Get another one, all in the backs. I've been right through, but it's going to need a good old wet back because it's all stained up. Going through the back end. Got the boot mat and stuff out here, been scrubbing it and jet washing it, scrubbing it and jet washing it. Mats are down there, cleaning up gearboxes, drive shafts. And yeah, I'm still going around this side. I've got all the door cards and stuff I've got to do as well, but I think I'll probably steam clean them. And I'm in the front here, which I'm now about to do. Got this seat to Hoover and I'm gonna take this mat out. It's pretty messy, but replacing the driver's seat should sort that all out. <laughs> Basically, put the mats down like that, give them a good old scrub and a blast, and they end up like that, <laughs> nice and clean. the old local shop to grab some milk. So while we're out, I'm not going to waste an opportunity to have a quick nose at the broads, have a little drive through. The little shop I go to is not far from Womack Dave, so I'm going to drive into there and have a little look.
So you catch me doing a bit on the old boat at the moment. Every now and again I put a few hours into the boat. I only put in a few hours in a week, but you'd be surprised how they add up. I'm getting along quite nicely on this side now. Just getting all nice and flat, all nice and smooth. I want to see it in the water by the summer, so got to get on with it, really. One thing I do want is a mask, or I'm going to get a face full of dust, which I don't want. Where's all the mask hiding? Nice new mask. Been a bit quiet today. I've I've been really busy, but just been trying to get on. Really, it's been pouring with rain, so it stopped me doing quite a bit of filming. And then I've been doing things like hoovering and stuff like that. Cleaning up parts and that sort of stuff, and that's not that exciting. So as you can see, I can't really get on with it too quickly, which is a bit of a pain because of the compressor. If you don't know, I've got a really big compressor over the corner there, but it's broken at the moment, so I'm running on a little cheap one that I bought. But any extra work done on it, even if I said only an hour or so here and there, that soon add up and I'll have it get finished quicker. So I'll do some more off camera and I'll come back in and show you in an hour's time where I am. So we're getting the big old guns out. Let's see if we can flatten it down a bit.
the pain when there's not enough air coming through. Cool. Your hands are yucky. Right. Want some blue roll? I'm going to wipe this down and sort of see where we are. A bit of dust everywhere now, which is a bit of a pain, but it can all be blown out. Nice to get back on the boat and do a bit, to be honest. This is just a, a panel wipe. This is it, you have a look and see where you, where you are, basically. What else needs filling? Where you're straight, where you're not. I'm not trying to hurry it because I'm trying to get it really, really straight. I want it nice. And what I started with definitely wasn't straight by any means. That should dry as you're watching it. Whew. Surprising where you get to in an hour or so's work. It's been longer than that probably, to be honest. I think I managed to sort of get to about here. It's all done that area there. That's, that is very hard to sand. Oh, and that's the dirt and rubbish that you get off. Which is why it's definitely worth wiping it down afterwards. Right, I'm going to blow it all down, dry it off. And then we'll probably black it up. Right, I'm going to black it over with the old guide coat. That basically shows you where I need to fill. I can see most of it to be honest, but it's just sometimes handy to just see them spots. What I'll do to run this over, then I'll, I'll run over the top of this with a, a light sander and wherever's left black. That'll basically show me where I need to fill. And then you can get all them little pin spots. That should do that. We want the round sander. Wherever that's hiding. With a, just a light grade on it. Which would be something like a 180. And then we'll just whip over it. And whatever's left. I'll be able to know where to fill. When I'm ready to put some fill in. Should sort most of that, and you can see the where the deep bits are. The other bits that need filling. The 
you get in there, it's starting to feel alright. Bits like that. All these little tiny little scratchy bits will disappear when they prime it. Still a bit of a dent there. Not too bad. I'll take you close up and let you have a look in a minute. Let's see how compressors stopped. So for all the new people that in the boat, I'll give you a quick little look. There is lots of videos on the channel of when I started to go and how I got it and where we are now. It's a bit stripped down now. All the windows are out. When I actually came in, that was like this. The whole boat was all bobbly and bits of fiberglass and yeah it weren't very nice and we're trying to get it silky smooth and then we're going to give it a whole new top coat it's looking pretty good we're starting to get along here now all the rails and that we're taking off and we yeah we're just basically smoothing the whole edges at the moment all around the top i've even started doing the inside as you can see but yeah the whole boat was It's quite hard to show, but in that sort of condition, nothing was done very nicely. It was all pretty rough. And I basically reshaped the whole front, because it was all up and down, all over the place. So I'm reshaping all of that, all around the windows. I'm gonna put all new windows and everything in. I actually made all these corners, because all these corners were all out of shape and there was like a flat edge across there. That was completely, there weren't no corner there. That was a bit of a mess. So I'm sort of, I've done most of the, getting the, the boat straight now. I'm just sort of doing the, the final foo skims and shaping everything up nicely now. She's pretty solid. Got a door down this side as well. I have already started as you can see and it is taking shape. Bottom half. She's pretty good, just got some stickers to mop off. And then obviously the, the actual underneath. There's a couple of tiny little bits to deal with before it can go on the water, but nothing to worry about too much. <coughs> Excuse me, the old dust is getting me. You can see I've been doing a lot of sanding because the boat's absolutely full of sanding. Done all inside the cab, all under the bottom there. Need to get in there with the old hoover really and suck that all out. Same on that side of been all down the inside. Put quite a few weeks of work in it already, if not months. We've got a 60 on the back auto mixing to Hatsu. Good engine. Just need to sort out the steering bar in there. Need to take that system out and replace it because it's all seized. And then we'll sort out inside here. Probably scuff up and repaint the floor as well. Underneath has already all been done where the floor's been laid down and the new boards. Everywhere underneath was all rewooded. And really whatever else you do in the hull, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> so that's all been done. So it's pretty solid down there. Just in case of getting all the top sorted. But that'll get there. We'll keep doing bits on it. And that'll get there. When it's ready sort of thing <laughs> probably me i'm a bit fussy i mean i could just flatten this down and whack a gel coat straight over the top of it and then flatten that down and decide whether to paint it or not on top of that but i want it to be quite nice and quite smooth and so i can sort of polish and wax it all up when it's all finished and it'll all be nice and watertight so if we're out fishing in the rain or something like that that'll all just run off it nicely instead of filling the boat up and get into any of the wood or anything underneath Obviously the bilge pump will pump out what comes into the the floor area. Steering is up there. Got a depth finder and fish finder and all that up there. Controls and everything under there. And then we've got a big old anchor and stuff like that in there with a lot of rope. <laughs> Hell of a lot of rope. 
there was lights and stuff on the sides, but I've cut them out and we've re-fiberglassed the sides where they were and they're all gone now. We will put them back on, just what to start again really and what, you know, blank canvas and put them on myself sort of thing. So that's a brief sort of run around of the boat. The trailer's in fairly good nick. A couple of the U brackets I'll probably replace. But otherwise, just to clean up and probably sort the barons out. Tires are good. Then we'll sort of go from there, really. Well, that's a brief run over the boat, and that's where we are with it. And so I'd like to get it done for the summer. That's the plan. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I built this MG while I've got the, the bodywork stuff out. Just want to shape up a spear, it's bugging me, I can see it's out of shape. You want the lines of the boot and all that to be nice. There is a little tiny dent there as well. Might have to look into that bit there. Shouldn't take too much because I've already spent a lot of time on it. This is just a surface final finish. Roof's rattling away. <laughs> it's really windy again. Pretty nice, that feels good. Nice to just do a bit on different things and sort of finish bits up. It's also a little bit on the front of this Astro. I'll sort out while I've got this out. Should be this bit here. That was nice, that didn't take long, did it? <laughs> There's a lot of dust on this, but yeah, I sorted that. Can't really get too much else on it at the moment. Just, you see some bits and it just bug you. <laughs> Alright, I sorted that out then. I went to put the stuff away and blow everything down and realised there's a bit on the upside of the MG boot, so we might as well do that while we got all this on and working this out.
shouldn't be far off. Can't go all the way with this because this is 80 grit, that's a bit rough. The next stages on that sort of stuff will be a, a 180, 320, 400. Then they can be primed over. Like what I've done down the side of the doors and stuff along the side here. That's only tin primer at the moment just to stop it from any bare metal rusting or anything like that. When we actually do the car, I'll do it with the guns and that properly. So I'm just going to give her a bit of a wipe down because she's covered in sand and dust and grease and all sorts of bits and pieces. Bit of our wheel cleaning. Let that soak in. So as you might have guessed, the engine mounts and stuff come for the Volvo. I've fitted them, I've put all the car back together, wheels are all back on, etc. all tightened up nicely. Checked over everything, made sure everything was all nice and tight, it's looking good so far. So I'm just giving it a you know, decent clean down. And then we'll take it for a test drive. I've just waxed them out of the cleaner around all the wheels and stuff, so I'll let that eat in for a little bit. And then I'll give them a good old brush. See if we can get them all nice and cleaned up. I'm now gonna Wag a load of engine decrease around the engine bay and then we'll give her a blast. Engine bay is actually quite clean. I have put the oil in the gearbox. I've checked the water. It's perfect, nearly freezed. I've checked the engine oil exactly where it should be. It looks quite clean. Too bad. Right, I'm gonna brush it all up and see what we can get.
Let's give it a blast. So we're all cleaned up or enough to go for a drive now. We're not covered in white dust. <laughs> the greasy handprints are not on nothing. They actually come up quite well, just with a wash, so that's quite good. So we've got to move the road right away now. Pike up down the yard a bit further. Get the rollway through and we'll take it for a spin and hopefully all the drive shafts, joints and everything steering and everything's all nice. Fingers crossed anyway. Right, let's do some moving about. Feels pretty good. Shaking's gone. More I can tell anyway. Steering's all nice. Nice and tight and precise. It's not all over the road anymore. Nice and straight. It's actually quite a pleasure to drive now. horsepower model so it's quite nice to drive anyway it's quite nippy it's got six gears as well yeah it feels pretty good so we're up on the main road we we'll take up to 50 because that's all you can do along here as you know you can do 60 See what we got. Not bad. The whole car's not shaking its head off. <laughs> Before, when you did this sort of speed, that shake so bad. Did she vibrate the whole car? Still not 100%, but. I think it would be a good idea to have the track and the stuff done. Check out the front tyres. Might even have the front wheels balanced. Or all the wheels balanced. Just to get, you yeah. know. Everything so we know is right, but yeah, we're, we definitely got rid of the shake. Okay, everyone, so I think this is a good place to end this one. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again soon in another video. Take care for now.